Father, I pray for presumption of thought. I pray for clarity of speech. And Father, use me as a vessel of blessing to your people in Jesus' name. If you are a believer, say amen. amen. After Easter. <laughs> okay, I think the believers are on this side. I don't know about that side. I, I, after Easter. Amen. After Easter, what next? Please be seated. Hallelujah. After Easter, what next? And one of the things I've seen about us, I mean, when I talk about us, I'm talking about human. I've realized is that when is our birthday? Oh, today is my birthday. We are excited. We celebrate it. And then after that, what next? Nothing until the next birthday. So there was a time I just realized that, you know what? I'm going to celebrate my birthday throughout the year. Because for the next birthday to come, it takes a year. Which means that if I celebrate it on just that day, then I've rest, left the other 300 and how many days? See, eh? 60 and over days. Hallelujah. When I can be rejoicing in those days. And I saw, I said, Lord, after Easter, we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate Easter. We celebrate certain significant seasons. But after that, what next? We were here for the Easter program. Hallelujah. We did everything, feet washing. Uh, name it whatever else but after that what else hallelujah I was listening to Mr. and Mrs. Kamara's testimony and as I was sitting there I said Lord this testimony must not just be one person on a Sunday when it comes to let us share testimony we should have a cue right from here to the street is somebody hearing me because there is something more for us than just Let's go back to Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Kabo Sata. That's going to be my key scripture. Today is just the introduction. As the Lord opens the door, I shall be back. Hallelujah. But ye shall receive power. Tell somebody next to you, you shall receive power. Hallelujah. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. The Holy Ghost is within you. But the Holy Ghost also comes upon you for miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, both in Radiant Place. Oh! Somebody didn't catch it. Both in Accra, both in Ghana, and then to the outermost part of the world. Hallelujah. You shall receive power. Tell somebody, receive power this morning. Hallelujah. Where is Auntie Thelma? Thelma, are you around? Please, give me the, the, the meaning of power. So it's defined as the ability to do something through strength, skill, resources, or authorization. One more time. It's defined as the ability. The ability. To do somebody something. said the ability. ability. Uh-huh. To do something. To do something. Yes. Through strength. Through strength. Skill. Skill. Resources. Resources. Or authorization. Or authorization. Hallelujah. And this ability is talking about, this capability is talking about, he said you shall receive this power, but you will not receive the power after eating Banku and Okros. You will not receive the power just by coming to church. You will not receive the power just by singing. But you are going to receive the power after what? After the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Hallelujah. I remember when we became born again. I became born again in 1972. Hallelujah. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when we became born again, <laughs> Hallelujah. At that time, we didn't even have what was called charismatism. We had what was called SU. Hallelujah. So we joined the scripture union in, S A in secondary school. Amen. And just as a young girl, a teenager, we could see the tangible power of God working through us. 
And then when we became born again, we further saw the power of the Holy Ghost working through us. Those were the days when the choir would sing and cripples began to walk. Demons began to confess. Things, be who remembers? Somebody shouted, I remember. Over there, yeah, 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 I was with you. I remember you very much. Hallelujah. Amen. You were sitting right next to me. Amen. And things began to happen. Those were the days when the rain was falling. We could command the rain and say, rain, you can fall everywhere, but not where we are having church. Is somebody hearing me? Those were the days when we could go to choir practice. Uh -uh. They used to keep us for choir practice till 12 midnight. And then... I used to stay at Teshun State. And my sister and myself, we moved from Airport Residential Area, take car to 37, get to T Junction to go to Teshun State, man of God, and there will be no car. You are talking of 12 midnight. You are talking of 1 a.m. I'm talking of how many years ago? I'm talking about 40 years ago. Is somebody here? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And what happens? We just close our eyes. I remember, I'll just close my eyes, hold the hand of my sister, and I will say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the time I finish this prayer, let a car, and by the time you say amen, you see one car just coming by. Is somebody here? Amen. Tell somebody by your side, it's time for you to receive power. The ability to be effective ability to be effective ability to have what you should have by the bible said in genesis chapter 126 that when we were created we were endued with the power to have dominion dominion to have dominion means taking something turning it around and using it for your good i will hear the testimony of the lady she said she will not give up. She said she kept on praying. She said, Ghana, you favor me. Somebody could have given up. Somebody could have said, I am not qualified. But today, we have not been given the ability of fear. We have not been given the ability of timidity. We've not been given the ability to run away. We've not been given the ability of I cannot do it. We've not been given the ability, I don't have money. Somebody shall I have power. Hallelujah. I have the power. We were young, but we were very powerful. I remember in Teshinawa Estates, when something was wrong in the community, they would say, go and call those young people. Go to number 14, Coco Street. Go to Francisca's house. There are a group of young people there. Go and call them. Is somebody hearing me? Those are the days we heard of angels performing surgery on people. Oh, Makataba Shata. I don't know why you are here this morning, but I've come to tell somebody that you are not just sitting here by yourself, but as long as you have received Jesus as your personal savior, he has also given you the power. Somebody shout and say, I have the power. Oh, you are not shouting like you're a believer. Can I hear say if you believe it, you can stand to your feet and you can touch yourself. Oh, can I hear you? Can I hear you? Hallelujah. I believe the time is coming. There will be no space in this room. I believe the time is coming. When they ask on the street, is there any church around here? They will say, go to the radiant place. Because the people there, they have power. Hallelujah. We didn't just become born again just to come to church and say we are born again but he said because of the power let's go back Acts 1 8 he said because of the power you shall be my witnesses Jesus said if you have seen me you have seen the father it is time for Jesus to say if you see mama Francisca you have seen Jesus if you see you can put your name there huh Okay, I didn't hear you, but Jesus sees you because he has given us.
Hallelujah. The only difference I have realized between this generation and when we became born again is that we knew how to walk in the power, but this generation does not know how to activate the power. And today I want to talk also about activating the power. Who is ready to walk in that power? Who's ready financial power, material power, environmental power, power in your business place, power in your health? Who is ready to walk? Oh, I see just ten hands. How many people are ready? If you are ready, see, I have the power. Can you shout it one more time? I got the power. Hallelujah. And I want to talk on activating the power by using one of my favorite scriptures from the book of Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52. And it's the story of blind Bartimaeus. If anybody knows, you can go and read it later. Blind Bartimaeus, or you can put it on the screen. Mark chapter 10, 46. Blind Bartimaeus was sitting by the highway side begging. A child of God, yet lacking. A child of God, yet yeah, didn't have enough. A child of God, yet a blind man, sitting by the highway side back. And blind Bartimaeus realized that, you know what? I got the power. If Jesus is passing by, then I'm not going to let the power go. I'm going to call upon the power. Today, you must tell yourself, I'm not letting the power go. I am not letting the power I'm not letting the power lie dormant I am going to activate the power hallelujah amen those were the days we used to have our father the late archbishop Benson Dahosa he is the man who stood and said all the witches in the world you want to come and have a meeting in Benin City if you think you have power come one man versus all the witches in the world who else knows that story? This is the man who could be in the plane. And when there was trouble, he could get up and say, as long as I'm in this plane, it will not happen. A child of God, just like you and I. Hallelujah. I don't know what we come to church for, but I have come to church to come and say, Father, that power you have given to me, let it not lie dormant. Let me not make useless the power you have given to me. Hallelujah. Because when you have something and you do not make use of it, it becomes dormant, it becomes useless. If you have this phone and you do not use the phone, the phone becomes useless. Hallelujah. If you have your SIM, you don't use it. After a while, you cannot even use it anymore. And I've come to say to somebody, it is time for you to activate the power. I don't know what you're believing God for. I don't know what you're expecting from God. I don't know why you came here this morning. But I've come to tell you it's time to activate the power. The power is already in you. This morning I was talking to one of the young men. And he said, Mommy, I didn't know I could do this. I didn't know I could do that. I said, it's because the power is in you. But you have just come to the realization. It is time for me to activate my power. We have many talents in this room. We have CEOs in this room. We have wives of great men and great men in this room. We have husbands of great women in this room. We have mothers and fathers of great children. But do we activate the power over our children, over our business? Do we do that? Blind Batimio said, you know what? Today, I am not going to go home a blind man. Today, you must decide. I am overcoming that challenge. I am overcoming that turbulence. I am overcoming that thing. Is somebody hearing me? I had a testimony of, 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 a, of a believer. And she, lives, she lived in a compound house. And the, 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 the landlady called everybody. And this is a true story. And said, you know what? This lady, she has planted some juju right in front of her door. Today, we are going to expose it. And they began to dig. Somebody said they began to dig. 
ladies and gentlemen, to cut a long story short, they didn't find the juju in front of the woman's door. They found it in front of the landlady's door. True story. Who is it that is troubling you? Who is it that is saying you will not go where you should go? Who is that thing that is, what is that thing that is fighting you? Today, somebody shout, I have come to activate that power. Hallelujah. We were children, but we knew how to command money into our pocket. You wake up in the middle of the night, you begin to say, money, I command you, wherever you are, I call you to come. Hallelujah. Somebody shout power. Hallelujah. Jesus, if you are passing by, then today I'm taking my power. Today I am receiving it. Today I am activating it. You have a business, people are not coming. What are you talking about? Bible says, for we do not fight against flesh and blood. We fight against principalities and powers. Hallelujah. Wake up in the middle of the night. Begin to pray. Father, I turn things around. Your children, pray for them. Your husband, where are the wives? Wives, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Thank God for that woman. Hallelujah. That stood in for the family. Learn how to pray for your wives. And the men, learn how to appreciate the women. Oh, I didn't hear the women shouting for me. You see, I'm speaking for you. You are not shouting for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, today, I am not going back a beggar. Bible says he began to shout. He began to shout. He began to shout. My God. And the original meaning in the Greek was that he kept on shouting. He kept on shouting. You cannot give up until you see the power. Your prayer life has gone down. Start with five minutes. Tomorrow it will be ten minutes. The following day. Hallelujah. You don't even read the word anymore. Start with one verse. Start with two verses. And continue. Receiving the power. Hallelujah. Jesus. He began to shout. And he continued to shout. Do you know what I see there? I see focus. I see commitment. Are you hearing me? When you're in a relationship and the man is not committed to the relationship or the woman is not committed to the relationship, you become what? Unhappy. Because you are like, I'm doing everything. One of my sons called me. Say, said, mommy, I've bought a car for the lady. Mommy, I've done this. And mommy, I've done that. But the lady said, she doesn't want me anymore. I said, if she wasn't your wife, why did you buy her a car? Am I saying something? One of the daughters also called me, oh, mommy, I've done everything. I've gone to, uh, 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 I cook for him, and I do that, and I do that. I say, are you his wife? Now he says his girlfriend is coming from London. I said, what? Eh? I said, what are you doing? What are you doing? Focus, commitment. So when there's no focus, when I tell people, if you are not committed to Jesus, Jesus cannot be committed to you. Am I saying something? Am I saying something? If you are not committed to the church, which is his work, Jesus is not standing here in person. You can be committed to me in person. But to Jesus, what you do for the church, what you do for his ministry, the souls you bring to church, the monies you give to church shows your commitment. And anytime you are not committed, Jesus is not committed, please don't deceive yourself. Thank you. Just come here, come and shake. Back, 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 two minutes and go back. That's not commitment. It 
it is not commitment, it is called entertainment. Yes. How many times do you come here when there's nobody here to come and say, I'm praying for the man of God and I'm praying for this ministry and I'm leaving my seed in this church? That is called commitment. By just dancing, shaking leg, all of us can do it. Esther, there's a beauty contest. But I realize that everybody in the beauty contest is also a woman of beauty. That is why it is called beauty contest. So coming to church doesn't make you a, a, a Christian. Just as working at the airport doesn't make you an aeroplane. Yes! It is what we do with what we hear when we come to church. And in this house, we have the one, one of the finest teachers of the world. You see, you are not clapping. If he was here, you would be clapped. But I'm sure he's watching us. Somebody say commitment. Hallelujah. Thank you. I am telling you what has made us successful. Commitment to the things of God. I told you 12 midnight, I will be standing at Teshinungwe Estates. I used to walk from Teshinungwe Estates, Janshin 2 to Janshin 3. More than an hour. I didn't have a car. I used to walk to go and teach Sunday school. And I'll walk back. Then come to my mother's house. Because my mother had given her house for church. And come and do church there too. My life was church. After that, you serve the pastors. After that, you clean the, the dust of the, the ground. Commitment. How many of us come to the church to come and clean the church? Gen Z generation. Somebody say, Mommy, preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were children, but we didn't lack. We were children, we didn't lack in finances. We didn't lack in health. We didn't lack in anything. A lot of us traveled outside. I remember when Ora Roberts came at the stadium, stadium was full. People were all over outside the stadium. And Ora Roberts stood there and he said, I have four scholarships for four people in this church. 40,000 CDs, uh, $40,000 per person for four years. I'm giving to four people. And I sat there. I didn't lobby. I didn't tell anybody, am I preaching? I didn't say anything to anybody. With my heart, I said, God, all these thousands of people here, if anybody loves you more than me, if anybody has worked for you more than me, give it to the person. Somebody shall power. Power is not when you stand there, you say you have power. Power is the evidence of of, of the manifestation of the things that God has said concerning your life. I stood there. I said, God, if anybody has worked for you and I began to count, I took God back. I said, remember, when my grandmother was in Presbyterian Church, took him back. And then I began to narrate to everything, to where I was. I said, Father, if there's anybody here, I am not fighting, but there's anybody here. But if there's nobody here that qualifies, then let all the four scholarships come to me. Somebody shall power! Yes. Can you tell God, Father, because of my commitment to you, let this come to me. Let money come to me. Open doors for me. Do something for me. Heal me. Can you? Ask somebody, can you? 
Am I preaching? These people are very quiet. Are you with me? Are you here with me? Ask somebody, can you? All, all the four scholarships came to my house. All the four. Because nobody had worked more than me. One of the things we don't realize that your hand clap, Jesus has seen it. Your offering, Jesus has seen it. Your giving, Jesus has seen it. Do you want to clap? Do you want to shout? Come on, come on, come on. Also, for if President Akufuado is in this house, some people will bring their cloth and lie down. Hallelujah. Amen. All the four. Then three of them passed the entrance exam. One person, man of God, did not pass. I said, don't worry. What belongs to me belongs. Somebody say, what belongs to me? Belongs to me. What belongs to me? The devil cannot take it from you. There may be delays, but delays are not denials. That husband is coming. That wife is coming. That money is coming. That visa is coming. That good health is coming. That thing you are believing God. Can somebody give the Lord praise? Can somebody give the Lord a shout? Come on, come on, come on. I want to see somebody Have a purpose. If you are in this ministry 
and you do nothing, get committed today. Everybody in this church must be doing something. Either you are singing or something. You cannot come to church and say you do nothing. Everybody in this church must pay tight. Stop paying your taxes and see what GRA will do to you. But your own tight, your commitment to God has become too difficult. Father, bless me. Father, give me. Father, wife, yeah. Father, husband, yeah. Father, children, yeah. He said it is all there. And these signs and these wonders shall follow them. That, how many believers do I have? That person that is putting juju on your chair at work should be the one that juju is transferred. Somebody say, I got the power. Today, if you are not committed, please get committed. Find out from the man of God, what can I do? We never took money. Papa Idahosa never gave me money for anything I did for him. But he said, my daughter nailed down. I bless my daughter. I release blessings over my daughter. The only time he blessed me with money, not knowing that was his last visit before his death. Then he said to me, my daughter, you see all the cities in Ghana, I don't want it. Bring me $800. So the people he came with had blessed me with it. Bring me $800. I'll give you all my cities. And I brought the $800 and I knelt down and Papa prayed for me. Almost how many years ago? 25 years, 30 years. My life has never been the same. Somebody say power. Commitment. How many of us can even look at these wonderful men of God who are here day and night and say, please, what is your shoe size? What is your shirt size? These wonderful women that are serving. How many of you can say? Can I take you to the hairdresser and make you look good? We have become selfish in the house of God. It is me, my family, and myself. There are people in our midst who have no food to eat. Nobody cares. Can we bring some bags of rice? Can we bring and let us give to people? Can the community feel the presence of the radiant place in this area? But when we get up, you want to bring them to church. What are you going to say to them? I should release all. This is only part one. Somebody said this is only part one. How will people know that the radiant place said if you do it to somebody else you have done it unto me we eat and others are sitting down we have so many shoes can there be a day when we can bring all the shoes we don't wear all the clothes we don't wear and say let's give them out can we do that commitment these are the things we did we have only one car in the church and it was my car. In action, one car. And even that, the water tank had a problem. So my brother stood behind the car, cooling her. And when Papa Idahosa came, that was the car he sat in. I would tell my mother good morning. By the time I would go back, my mother is sleeping. Commitment. Today, we are who we are. We want to be like the Sudanabes. We want to be like that Hayward Mills. We want to be like that person. Ask them what they did. Doug used to play the organ, not this type. 
I remember very well. A small pink one. Stephen Salimensa had one organ. Drums, everything was inside. And they would play, play, and play. Nobody would mind them. And I would say that, hey, I have one Take some of the watches to the twins. He says it up to today. It's with Anaba. One day he came from Nigeria. Mommy, the people more treated me because I have a baby face. I said, it's good. From today, we are going to go on fattening course. I will buy you more. You will drink. Uh, make sure you put on weight. He didn't put on weight. I said, this would, I'm not buying the water again. You are wasting my money. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody shall commitment. Somebody shall pray. pray. Somebody shall give. It. Somebody listen. Abraham, take your son, your only son Isaac, and I'm finishing. To the mountain where I'll show you. Where I, God, will show you. Tell somebody, you don't worship God the way you want to worship him. You worship him the way he wants you to worship him. Take him to the mountain that I'll show you. And when you get there, there's a particular mountain. There are so many mountains. If you decide to go to the mountain you want to go to, the blessing will not come. When he was ready to sacrifice his son, he said, hold it. Now, I know. Now, now that you are ready to sacrifice your life for me, now I know. In blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will make your, your generation. Who wants to be great? And this is the grand finale. You cannot have power. This power is not physical power. This power is spiritual power. You cannot have it without a prayer life. You cannot have it without studying the word. When they say go to those children, they have power. We used to pray seven hours a day. How many hours have you prayed this morning? Ah, the room is quiet. Who is ready to receive that power? Every one of us, including myself. Because the power is ongoing. If you have power and you don't keep on, you will lose it. Shall we please stand to our feet? Somebody say, I'm ready for the power. Are you ready? I will come back with part two to tell you the workings of the Holy Spirit. How many of us are ready for part two? You are ready. But today, let us release some power. When the beast, the viper fastened on Paul's hands, he didn't complain. Please, let's stop complaining. Let's stop calling everybody. And I don't know why. And it, please stop it. The Bible said he shook the beast into the fire. Today, next week Sunday, I am believing God that this place will be full with testimonies. We are going to shake certain things into the fire. And Paul gathered sticks, but among the sticks was a viper. In other words, you have a miracle, but the enemy will come to fight your miracle. And the only way Paul could win was to shake it into the fire. How hot are you? Ah, how hot are you? If you have food and the food is cold, the flies can come and sit on you. But if the food is boiling, there is no way. 
even the way of a man pleases the Lord, he causes even his enemies to be at peace with him. I will not die, but I will declare the silver and the gold belongs to the Lord. Call for it. Are we ready to pray? I'm going to call on some one of the pastors to come and lead us in prayer. You want to release the fire. You want to release the power. And please, it will not just be today. Continue at home. Continue every service. Get committed. Weekday services. We all want to come. You cannot come today and wait till another week. Let's get committed. Go and call blind Bartimaeus because I've seen the commitment. Blind Bartimaeus, what do you want? Forget about your car. Forget about your house. Forget about your husband. Forget about that wife. Forget about that thing you are looking for. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Please lift up your hands. We are going to pray. Talk to your God. Some of us, we must come and kneel down here and renew our love. The book of Revelation says this one thing I have against you, that you have left your first love. When a man loses his first love for his girlfriend, they will never get to marriage. It will only end there. That first love must continue. You want to pray? Give us a song. I don't want to go Commit yourself to the Lord The same way I, I don't want to go the same way I came Touch me with